keto diet is the perfect way to lose weight fast. And when you combine it with the right kind of exercise for your body, you can speed up the process even more. Today, I'll answer some of the most frequently asked questions about how to get the best results on the keto diet, get healthy, and get moving. So let's dive in. All right. I am 60 and not as fit as I used to be. What is the best exercise for me to help my body function at its best? Well, this is awesome. Um, so kudos to you for still really trying to maintain your fitness. As we age, we do tend to lose muscle mass as well as bone density. So it becomes even more critical that you continue to work out in your 60s and 70s and beyond. Resistance training and weight training will help you um, maintain that muscle mass and bone density. And this is even more important if you're female, because for women, we really have to worry about osteoporosis and bones breaking as we age. So resistance training is gonna be really, really effective for you. And then I would also recommend throwing in some cardio. Um, so if you are exercise naive, maybe start with walking a few days a week and then rotating with weight training in between. If you've already been exercising for your entire life, keep doing whatever it is that you do. I heard that the keto diet lets me eat mountains of bacon and lose fat. I want, no, I need this to be true. God let this be true. Sorry, it is not true. I think it really comes down to you are what you eat. And so if you're eating mountains of bacon, you're kind of gonna end up looking like, I don't wanna say it, but a pig. So you do have to have um, a little more variety in your diet than just bacon. And so even if you're on a carbohydrate restricted diet, you can eat some bacon. So bacon is not on the no eat list, but you do have to be careful about what you eat and you can't just eat bacon. And you know, you really do have to mix in as many other food groups as you can, like vegetables, for example, are a great way to get a lot of healthy fiber, make you feel full um, and also are very good for you. Hi, I have type two diabetes and my doctor says that exercise can help regulate my insulin levels. Can you explain how this works and what exercises are best for me? Yeah, this is a great question and I completely agree with your doctor. It's really important for you to get exercise. So basically when we exercise, our muscles, our heart, are pulling more of that sugar out of our bloodstream and using it. So we actually see diabetes patients who exercise and maintain healthy diets can actually sometimes decrease the amounts of medication they have to be on or even go off medication altogether. So it's really important to continue to do these exercises. And again, it really just sort of depends on what you've been doing in the past as far as what I would recommend for you to do in the future. So if you've never exercised in the past, I recommend starting small. Don't do anything too overwhelming. Maybe start with just doing a walk around the block once a day for a week. And then once you feel like you can do that pretty well, double it. So walk around the block twice for the next week. And then the next week, walk around the block three times. And so you really wanna build up to about 30 minutes to an hour of physical activity a day. And so I would recommend rotating between a cardio exercise like walking, running, swimming, aerobics, and then also throwing in some weight training. So um, doing some resistance training, lifting weights um, are gonna help a lot with building your muscle mass and that in and of itself will also help burn more glucose even when you're not working out. So I hope that answers your question and definitely start an exercise program and good luck. I know I should exercise, but I don't have the willpower to start. What tips would you give me to help me get started? Well, this is awesome. Um, it's so hard for everyone to start working out. I know there are some days where I just do not want to go for a run, but I sort of try to trick myself into it by telling myself, I'm just going to go for a walk or I'm just going to go for a 10 minute run or something that's sort of short and achievable for me. And then I find once I get out there, I actually do more and run further and do my normal workout or whatever I'm trying to do that day. So I would recommend that. Um, another thing that can help is working out with a buddy. So if you have a buddy, you're accountable to another person. And so if you make an appointment with that person and say, we're going to work out at 
6 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're letting that other person down if you don't show up. So getting a buddy can be great to sort of be that motivation you need to step out the door. Okay, and then the last thing I would recommend is consider getting a trainer. Uh, trainers can be pretty tough sometimes, you know, they uh, will definitely hold you accountable. But again, having that person there holding you accountable may just be the motivation you need to step out the door and get that workout going. Can somebody dumb it down for me? What's the difference between the keto diet and intermittent fasting? Will I lose fat with both? Will I gain muscle with both? And how does it happen? Hashtag explain like I'm five. <laughs> I hope you're not actually on a diet and actually five years old because that would, um, that would be maybe a little too young to start dieting. But so yeah, the keto diet and intermittent fasting are a little bit different. They kind of have the same effect on the body though and that they really help you sort of melt the fat away. Keto diets are where you're carbohydrate restricted. So you really aren't taking in carbohydrates. This puts your body into a ketogenic state. So it's burning fat instead of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are a little easier for the body to digest. So once you cut those out, you burn more fat. Intermittent fasting is where you are fasting for a certain period during the day and eating for a certain period during the day. So the most common breakdown that I see is eight hours a day where you're eating and then the rest of the day you're fasting. So for most people, this would look like maybe waking up sometime between 6 and 8 a.m. and then you don't eat anything until noon and then you would have your couple of meals between noon and 8 p.m. and then you wouldn't eat anything again after 8 p.m. until noon the next day. So that again puts your body into a ketogenic state so you're burning fat. As far as building muscle, you do have to work out. Um, and so I think the best sorts of exercises for really building muscle mass are gonna be resistance training and weight training. Um, but you can also do some aerobic exercise as well. Um, I always recommend sort of switching up your exercise regimen, but um, the resistance training is what's really gonna help you build that muscle mass. I am on a weight loss journey, wonderful. I am losing weight at a good rate, but not inches. Why? My reflection is not getting happier. Oh, that's so sad. Um, so you're losing weight. That's great. So keep that up. But you know, I think my recommendation for this would just be persistence. Uh, you, when you first get a new diet or start a new diet, you can retain water differently. You can have fat distributions on your body change. And so you may not be seeing inches come off in the places you want them to be coming off. You may be losing some water weight. So I would just say stick with it. The inches will come. It just takes a little persistence. Whew, I feel like I burned some calories answering this questionnaire. I'm gonna finish up this verbal workout with some stretching and a delicious protein shake. If you feel like any of my answers were helpful, smash that like button and subscribe. May we meet again and stay healthy.